Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Project Hospital, where we finish up our specialist finally. Right? It took it took some time. It took some time indeed, but we are finally here. Um, yeah. So I, I did find out, and I was told who our actual uh, created doctor is. Now it'd be interesting. Do you think we could create our, another doctor, and um, that would still work with one of your created doctors? I guess so, right? Uh, it would cost us ten thousand dollars to create another doctor, uh, which you know it's kind of a lot of money, but uh, it's possible. Now the reason why I, I would say maybe do that is because she is a slow learner, so it's gonna take her a long time to 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 level up. Um, so that's that. I don't know exactly the best course of action to go through this other than maybe to do her on her own here. Like to not to, to do her to to to, uh, to control her on her own. Maybe that's the way that we go and that will help with her and how she becomes everything and all that and whatnot. She's a nighttime doctor anyway. So she's going to be coming in during the nighttime and we'll, we'll do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to control her and, and see where we go. Uh, see if that really helps and I'll, I'll kind of watch these little metrics because I, I really don't know what determines them leveling up other than maybe just diagnosing correctly or just slowly over time these numbers get bigger and bigger uh she's i guess at a, attending right is that the level she's at attending i don't know what fellow is i guess fellow is maybe the four uh four doctor symbol here I, i'm really i'm really not sure uh, but anyways, we're going to let the hospital kind of automate more. Oh, by the way, she's here, actually. Okay, cool. So she's actually back into, well, I mean, now our, you know, our shift switched over, but that's good. Uh, one critical workload room. One is not that bad. Uh, but to be fair, we had actually probably a terrible day. Now, we are looking at 91 patients that we had today. I hope that number goes up more. I hope that number goes up as we go into midnight here. We'll just have to see. Now, where is she and what is she actually doing right now? She is currently in a study room, I guess. Interesting. Linda, I, I am not interested right now. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Um, yeah. And now she's reading a book. Did we assign her to, like, do that? Now, we could put her on trauma center. Oh, wait, no. She used to be at that workplace. Sorry. She's, what is she in? She's in an emergency clinic. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Um, yeah, she's training. Did we do that? I think we might have done that in the last, the, um, uh, last episode. We might have just said, hey, you know what? You're going to go on studying and you're going to study. Uh, so what's going on here with the complicated diagnosis? Uh, well, first of all, let's go and just treat you with a bunch of stuff. Looks like we have a lot of things going on here. Could be anything. Uh, can we have a nice, oh, shoot, I, you know, I don't know. Well, you know what? F it. We'll let the doctor try. There's no valid waiting room within reach of the sonograph, sonograph unit. Uh, excuse me, pardon me. What? What are you actually talking about? There's not a waiting room for the sonograph room. What? This, this issue has never came up ever. And now it's here. Why does that blow my mind? Have we always needed a waiting room for the sonograph room? I'm just going to ignore that. What the heck, man? I don't think I've ever gotten that message this entire playthrough, right? Let me go ahead and just focus on one thing at a time, though. Jessica Wright going to go ahead and keep studying. Um, and I'm watching her level as we go here. I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, I guess she's studying this training schedule, this general medicine. That's what we have here. Long wait for examination. Uh, for bed required for examination. Okay, let's see here. General surgery department. Uh, you are in the HDU. You do have chronic kidney disease. Uh, this could be definitely a nursing problem more than anything. Uh, and that, you know, it is what it is. Uh, but he needs a CT scan, so he's also waiting for transportation. So that's basically what we're, we're, what we're looking at here. This is probably a nursing problem. Let's go over here into general surgery department and see where we actually, what we have here as far as nurses. Uh, we have one, two, three. We have three nighttime nurses. Is it enough? Maybe. Maybe not. You know, maybe not. Might not be enough. This is the Sano's room, right? These are the Sano rooms. The fact that there's a waiting room, what the heck? Like, one of these is the Sano room. This is a diagnostic unit. This is a cardiography. This is a Sano. Why have we never had a waiting room for a Sano? I, I don't know. I don't know. That said waiting room, I'm pretty sure. 
Now, one thing you could do is be like, oh, yeah, I could, like, hire another nighttime nurse to deal with this situation. Which, I mean... Let's... Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to hire one nighttime nurse, one daytime nurse, and we're going to kind of focus these people in on transportation, hopefully. Um, this patient or this nurse could be patient care. $93. Super, super cheap. Uh, you're an alcoholic, though, so no, I'm not into it. Uh, this Judy Hernandez, I would like someone who's fast, but I can't really, like, I can't really be picky here now, can I? No, I can't. Now, the only reason why I did critical nurses so I could, like, switch up the <laughs> switch up the candidates there, but that didn't really help at all. Um, long commute and hard worker, Susan, you're fine, I guess. We'll hire you, and then for daytime, I don't want to go too expensive, like I said. Who is this? Fast foot? Clean feet. Okay, that, that, you know, whatever. We'll do daytime that. Now, for the both of you here, uh, Casey Gonzalez, I really just want you to, uh, I mean, you do have surgery, nurse surgery. You know what? I'll leave you how you are. Uh, you, however, are 11%. I would like you just to worry about patient transfers and patient cares, and we'll see how that goes. So we'll just get an additional couple of uh, nurses here in during day and nighttime. You can obviously see, like, look at this. This is disgusting, right? I know. Uh, this is just the corridor action here. Terrible. Um, we could fix it. We obviously could. I was kind of, like, preventing doing what I'm about to do right now just because, you know, I don't want this to be all general surgery department. But for right now, I guess it's okay. We'll just leave that how it is and so, just so it can be cleaned up and then we'll fix it in the future. Okay. Um, right. Now, Jessica Wright, she's still studying, and I don't know if this is the best course of action for her to get her uh, level up. You know, I, I'm, I'm really not sure. And maybe it'd be better if she was just on hands, right? Patient numbers or insurance are back to normal. That's that's good to know. Where are we at? Holy crap. We are at 115 patients into the morrow. Okay, that sounds better. I like it. I like it indeed. Uh, just real quick, I guess we can take a look at yesterday's, uh, you know, expenses and incomes. Yeah, massive money. 777 freaking 7. Hit me at the casino, baby. Uh, that was a very good day. Very good day. Okay, you know, uh, things are turning. Things are turning. One of the big things that we really need to do also is, as we go forward here, is we need to get ambulances in. And once we get ambulances in, then um, things obviously are going to get hectic. But uh, that's like our next big step. Because ultimately, we want to get, like, the fifth insurance in here, which will make things go even crazier. Uh, but that, hey, that's just what we have to do, right? That's our next progressive thing to do, really. Now, again, I don't know if studying was a good idea to put her on, but, you know, I don't know. Has there been a difference? I haven't been paying attention. I think 40 to 44% is actually what happened here, so, you know, that's better. Uh, long wait for no free bed hospitalization hdu general department are you right about that let's see let's see let's see uh you're yeah yeah it's an issue it is an issue yeah you are right about that um i have talked about it multiple multiple times we have enough regular wards we just don't have a lot of hdu uh wards high dependency wards in the uh general department general surgery department so yeah i i, I get that i'm sorry about that I have no money, and there's nothing I can do about that at this given time. Maybe as time progresses, maybe we'll, we'll get that in. Hey, we have a big day coming in with 115 potential patients, so maybe that would be uh, something that we can capitalize on in, into the next day, into the future. You know, fly like an eagle to the sea, fly. I don't know why I brought that to my ear. What the heck was I going with that? But she is going up. Like, she is, like, general medicine, 47%. I mean, it's happening. It is happening. I guess she'll get better. I don't know. Again, I don't know if this is more of a on hands, like attending. She can't level this up until she like gets her on hand. So here we go. Training finished. This is actually something I've never seen before. Uh, employee has finished training in the general medicine uh, skill, increasing uh, level by 8%. Employee's ability to learn improved. Uh, that's good. It is good. Um, yeah, it's cool. And she's actually with a patient right now. Or she was. But she has to go. Okay, so, you know, that, that helped out. I mean, that was uh, that was cool and all, right? At least it shows me how the studying room and how the training all works out, too. That's, that's kind of cool. All right. 
Thomas Lee. She shouldn't be on, on call right now, though. She should actually be going home. Okay, she's actually on call right now. Uh, fractured of the fr finger or hand contusion. Let me just see where she's at exactly. Sorry, where where are you, Jessica? Uh, Jessica, 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 Jessica. You're in the office. Okay. You are in the office. Um, hmm. So you have the ability to do what we need to you, like the differential, uh, differential diagnosis thing, right? We have that ability, yeah? Uh, do we not have that ability? Uh, evaluation. Wait, did, wait a sec. Do we not have a whiteboard in there? We should have a whiteboard in all these rooms. We do not. I don't think we do. Uh, okay. Hold that thought, please. Let me just grab this. Put a chart board. Anywhere. Right there. Uh, excuse me, what? Uh, okay. Right here. Uh, what? Oh, I don't have money. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, okay, great. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do this the old-fashioned way. Which, by the way, I can actually take off uh, specialist mode, yeah? Yeah, I can take off specialist mode, so I don't know why the hell I have specialist mode on. Hang on a sec, time out, please. Uh, I don't need specialist mode. Uh, I'm all free to go, right? Yeah, I'm on normal mode now. Okay, so what are we looking at here? 51% uh, chance of it to be in a fractured finger. Uh, 49 to be, uh, you know, a hand contusion. The best way to do this is just, yeah, do this available. Uh, well, actually, what happens if we give him a physical examination? Maybe that will actually, we could probably tell that way, maybe. No? Yeah, we could. Okay, great. Uh, yeah, let's diagnose him. There we go. Uh, you will be diagnosed, and then you will be uh, treated as well, and you will be on your way. Now, if we take a look at her, and I will watch her. Uh, I'm watching this thing right here, attending. So it did go up. So it did go up. Okay, cool. It did go up. Very nice. <laughs> Procedures have finished. That guy can, like, literally go home. Okay, cool. So it's kind of like babysitting a little bit in a way. Right? Uh, pharmacy too small? Yeah, I understand. Everybody just left at 8 a.m. Um, yeah, okay. That, that's that's neat. So, th okay. I, I, I'm understanding. So, that did go up after they, you know, worked with the patient. All right. All right. Yeah. I'm all for it. Okay. She's going home because, like I said, she's part of the nighttime shift. So, we're going to go ahead and just wait here for a second. Let everything kind of automate. Uh, 8 a.m. rolled around. Everybody that needed to be discharged is discharged. Everybody that needs to go to the pharmacy is going to the pharmacy. And now the hospital is going to be working on its own completely. Now that we don't have to really worry about doctor modes going forward here, which is nice and a refresher, right? And I feel like we've been going for like the last seven episodes. Uh, doctor, doctor, doctor. Uh, we can really focus on this, this, and this. Uh, patient collapsing that sucks but take a look at this yeah the emergency room is out of freaking control and we talked about this a lot in the past and that is very simple uh yeah we need more emergency room doctors so kind of expanding off in this area for emergency room doctors is kind of what i was thinking uh, because this is out of control this is absolutely out of control there's too many people here and this is gonna roll in like look at this even over here take a look at this too many there's just too many people here too many people in the emergency clinic. Uh, 115 expected patients to come today. Yes, it's a lot of money, but yes, we got to, like, prepare. Prepare that these people will probably not be looked at, and they will leave or they will collapse if they're not checked out soon enough. Uh, even orthopedic is kind of getting overran over here, right? Complicated diagnosis. We'll let the doctor try, though. So, yeah. Really, the only thing that we can kind of, like, think about and hopeful, hopefully to do... Uh, orthopedic regular hospitalization no free bed that's a big deal interesting so hdu is a little bit of a problem in the general surgery department uh, apparently regular beds in the uh, orthopedic department is a big deal i wonder how our surgeries are keeping up maybe our surgeries are kind of lacking behind a little bit we are now going into the positives because we are making that money baby uh but my god this is insane there needs to be a lot more there needs to be more doctors uh, there needs to be more uh, room, uh, possibly even another orthopedic, because look at the orthopedic. Even the orthopedic is getting a, a little out of out of crazy, you know, out of hand here. Uh, and collapses are expected to happen if we don't have these people being checked out uh, fast enough. It is what it is. Now I do expect a critical, a, a lot of critical rooms here soon. Patient can't be fully treated. Treatment for patients diagnosis is, is not available. The endoscopic uh, scopic surgery. Uh, what? Carpal tunnel. What do we need for that? Hospitalization, hospitalization required? Uh, 
You can just do HDU, yeah? There you go. And then that's good. Check free beds or try higher priority. No, 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 no. She'll be able to go there. There. Yeah, there you go. We'll just put her in HDU. Even though it's not an HDU type situation, she can at least go there and get her surgery on. So, yeah, that's fine. I mean, it's carpal syndrome, or, you know, carpal tunnel syndrome, but it is what it is. Uh, fractured surgery arm, Dana, she can't be because she's not hospitalized, but that's okay. There's no free regular beds. We'll put her in HDU as well. There you go. We'll fast forward that, and then schedule her for surgery. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, William, who probably is kind of the same thing. They're not in... So, the thing about these is that they're not, like... They're not serious, serious. Well, what what the heck is this? Develop chronic. They're not serious, serious um, surgery. So they're not being treated to HDUs. But doesn't mean they can't use an HDU. Uh, we could just send them there and then they'll be happy enough to go there. Instead of like having to go in and buy a bunch of regular beds, right? Uh, we don't have to do that. A uh, patient is about to leave. Leave. I mean, I'm sorry, I can't, I know. He's being called, actually, right now, so that's good. Uh, look at the emergency room, it did thin out a bit, so, you know, we are funneling these people through, it's just, is this is that, that that morning time rush and that afternoon rush, man, it, it hits different, you know what I mean? Uh, let's see here. Uh, your problem is hip, your hip, yeah, you need hip surgery. Uh, we will not, well, <laughs> I hate to say give her exercise while she's here in the hospital, but we'll put you in HDU as well, and we'll give you... Uh, uh, that, that hip surgery, hip surgery going as well. Yes. Uh, patient can't be fully treated. Same thing. Probably we'll give you some of that, give you HDU and then give you a hip replacement as well. So for some reason there's a lot of regular, a lot of non life threatening, uh, orthopedic surgeries that are, that are happening here. Uh, and that's kind of the RNG in it all, right? We we're kind of getting hit with that. It looks good on paper, like, oh yeah, you're looking like you're 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 killing it out there with 25 grand. Uh, don't let that be like, don't let that fool you, because it's gonna it's gonna hit hard here in a sec. Um, and at this time, we will be able to you know take over our doctor again, Miss Thang Thang. I forgot her name name. Uh, she'll come in, and then we'll have to figure out what to do with her. But 100 out of 100 patients treated, zero not. That's fantastic. Uh, before we continue here, by the way, negative 13,000, not too bad. Uh, before we uh, continue here, let's take a look at our critical. So, critical was emergency room. I have to guess it was, you, and we kind of saw it face value, it had to be the doctors. The doctors were being overran. I, I, I can see that. One radiology being ran, um, and my guess is orthopedics? No? Pharmacy, probably. Yeah, pharmacy. Yeah, okay. So there, there's issues. There is critical workloads. I know where they're at. We just need time to, to fix it. That's okay. Uh, still, again, no... Not a patient was not treated, if that makes sense. Yeah, a patient was not not treated. Everybody else, scram. <laughs> uh, we're looking... Com we're coming back into the positives here. Yeah, this is going to be a very good couple of days coming through here. I, I, I do believe. Unless we get, like you know, hit hard with some random stuff. Robert Moore here, insomnia, easy. Let's treat that. Uh, uh, let's actually, I, I do want to take a look at her real quick. Hang on a sec. I just want to see and make sure. So her, there it is. Okay. Then she has Robert, insomnia. And then we go back to her just to make sure she's leveling. There we go. Oh, wait, shoot. Uh, Robert, let's give you a bunch of treatments. There you go. Then go back to her and then she'll do her thing. We'll watch her. Patient's collapsing. Sorry. <laughs> uh, procedures have finished. Fantastic. Okay, he can go home. Yeah, go home. There you go. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so I think her working with patients is going to help her overall. Um, we could, if we really wanted to, you know, save up some money and then put her on training. But it is what it is. She's just a slow learner. It just is what it is. Um, but I'm not going to give up on Jessica, right? I'll stick with it as we come here. Look at, Let's take a look over here. My God. HDU over here in the general surgery department is not bad. It's not, it's not full. I have a good feeling that we're going to be banking out pretty damn well. Let's go upstairs. Uh, we're going to be bank, we're going to be banking out pretty damn well uh, in tomorrow because this right here. There has been probably multiple surgeries going on all day, all night. 
and, and it's all good. Long wait for treatment. What are you looking at? You're looking at a surgery? Um, I think you should just hold on tight. I mean, there's people being cut up as we speak. There's blood everywhere. There's blood in this operating room. There's blood in that operating room. I think you kind of just need to chill out. <laughs> so we're really expecting now 107 patients today compared to 115. Uh, but we didn't miss a single patient yesterday. And I, and I like to see that. The pharmacy is going to be overran again. And we've talked about it, I believe, briefly in the last episode. That... Um, that I do have plans. I, I do. I do have plans to potentially. Uh, let me just fix this corridor over here. Just so this is actually getting cleaned as well. Um, I do have plans. To. Um, um, hang on a sec. Okay. I do have plans to make a big massive. Big massive. Um pharmacy but i don't know if i should put it down here because i was thinking like this this entire plot right here this entire plot to be a, a pharmacy uh, that's what i was thinking like maybe take out this and just make a giant pharmacy i don't know that's what i was thinking and then i don't think we would ever have to like worry about a pharmacy being too small ever again and keep the tiny ones, right? Keep the tiny ones kind of spruce, you know, kind of sprinkled about a little bit of everywhere, but have like a mega, like, like a, like a mega center <laughs> pharmacy so that people don't have to trip up on the line or whatever. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, long wait for, no, 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 you're fine. You're fine. If you have a long wait in general, just go into HGU. There's no problem there. We have enough beds in there. Yeah, we have plenty of beds. And I am going to be using money to buy some HDU uh, beds anyways, soon. As soon as I have the money to do so. Uh, oh yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at yesterday's uh, money intake. Uh, how was yesterday? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, look at that. $18,000, almost $19,000. That was a very good day. A very, very good day indeed. Holy crap. Uh, treatment, bed treatment, what are, you, what are you complaining about? Bed requirement, uh... You're for orthopedics. Do we really not have uh, any more beds up there? Or are you just waiting for a long time? Oh, no, you're just waiting for a long time. Never mind. Which says uh, maybe you should uh, think about nurses up here or and or doctors. Uh, let's see. Let's go to the orthopedics. Let's see where we're at department wise. Now, we have a lot of uh, nurses available. Uh, or at least nurse slots available that we could use and that we can add. Uh, we can go, you know, a couple, you know, go day and night again, you know, go day and night again, hire a couple more. Let's try to see where we're at. A night owl who is long commute, but works hard. Um, not bad. Not bad indeed. Hey, subscriber. Patrick, thank you. Thank you, Patrick. And I will do that, Elizabeth. You'll be my nighttime. And then let's get a daytime easy... Easy transportation person. Patricia. Patricia. And then what you'll do is you'll do, yeah, exactly that. And then our new one, Elizabeth, will do exactly that as well. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. We'll see how that works out. Maybe that will be good. Maybe that won't be. Uh, having wheel... Something I keep forgetting to do is putting wheelchairs, having more wheelchairs, or having wheelchairs in general, uh, or having, like, uh, more stretchers. Now, up here, we have, like, this entire closet full of stretchers. Which I think is that I think it does get used from time to time, but it, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, what just happened? Procedures have finished. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, Jessica Wright. Yeah. Okay, Jessica Wright. Okay. Okay. Let's 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 look into here. Uh, Jessica Wright. Let's do a physical and chest on her. So this is gonna be like an individual type thing, which is gonna be fun to do. Finally, you know, and we won't have to like worry about a lot of things. It'll be croup. Or it could be uh, respiratory crypto. Well, it's not that. It's going to be croup. So we'll, we will diagnose her with that. Give her all the treatment that she needs. And this will help Jessica all together. Yes, yes, yes. And freaking yes. And who knows? Maybe like giving her even more of a, you know, more of a 
more of a studying thing is, is not a bad idea. So treat you. Thank you. Because look at that. I mean, God, good Lord. Like that, 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 that little thing is not moving very fast. Maybe I do send her on another training venture. That was fun. I don't know. I like watching her, her general medicine, uh, <laughs> increase. It, it, it's good. And her diagnosis increase. I do, I do like that a lot. Oh, Kate Green. Okay, who's Kate Green? Okay, 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 okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's look here. I will do a chest and a fit. No, not a chest, you idiot. Bring that back. We'll do a physical examination. See what's going on. Maybe she can pop it right here. Okay, that did not pop anything. Um, We'll do a uh, sampling, yeah. Let's do a sampling. Get that going. Anytime. I guess it does take a little bit of time to do this. Okay, what what happened? Okay, no, no, no. That's the yeah. We don't need to worry about that. Is she gone? Oh damn it! She didn't get to finish this. She didn't get to finish that. Patient? Where's that patient gone? I guess not. I guess someone else. Yeah, Barbara Barkley is gonna be doing that. Okay. Well, we'll let Barbara Barkley do that. All right. Well, uh, the time did switch over. Now we're gonna be getting a little bit of a payday as 8 a.m. does come through and we get another. You know, note, uh, no notice there saying, hey, your pharmacy's too small. Like I said, the mega center, the mega center could be something. Or we could just expand this already existing pharmacy. We could do that. We absolutely could do that. Because I feel like a big mega pharmacy center would be like just so much. So much room for like nothing. Not for nothing, but like, you know, I think that's like a lot of room. So maybe we look into that. Let's go here because we do get that a lot, quite a bit. Let's go here and let's look into this pharmacy here. So we have this weird little like pathway that's going on down here from, you know, our regular ward. I would like to pull out my handy dandy notebook. Please and thank you. We're going to go build out the foundation here completely. And then we're going to uh, expand this out a bit. Uh, we're gonna go here and we're gonna go be like there come down to here yeah uh take out this wall right here completely what i'll try to do is i'll try my best to make this look uh believable i guess is what i'm trying to say so um <laughs> it's gonna be super hard to do uh, cause I'm not very good at making things look believable as, as much as I would like them to. Uh, right. So here, like this, for an example, like the corner counter, love the color, by the way. Uh, let's extend this out a bit. Let's extend this out. And I don't even know what the heck this is. Is this advice? Those are both advice. Okay. Let's do counter advices and we'll go boom, boom, and boom. And then uh, I would like to get that in too. We'll do the same exact thing, right? Boom, boom, boom. Kind of like, like adding additional, right? Adding additional, uh, I don't even know what, are they using stools? What are they using? I can't even see what the heck they're using. Um, what the heck are they using? I'm assuming they're using stools, yeah? Are you guys using stools? Yeah, you guys are using stools. Okay, um, <clears throat> yeah, so, I mean, effectively, this is, like, three more pharmacists that we can have, right? Hopefully that works. Does that work? There we go. Blue? Sure. Oh, it's not in the, it's not in the, um, I don't think it's in the zone, that's why. Uh, da -da 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 -da. we will add that. Let's go here, and we will go administrative real quick, and we will go to pharmacy, and we'll let's expand this out a bit. Perfect. And then we'll go back to build. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to completely redo this in a way I don't want to do just white. I, I kind of like the theming that's going on here, colored wise. Um, no, maybe. Yeah, I kind of like that. Not bad. This is going to look awful, though. This is going to look, <laughs> this is going to look terrible. We're going to go full checkered. It's going to be like somebody's diner. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Okay. Okay, now let's look at what we're at. 
Oh, it doesn't look too bad, I guess. It doesn't look too bad. So what we're going to do also is we are going to probably... Yeah, we are going to do that. We're going to push this wall back too. So this is going, this is going, and instead we're pushing this wall to here. What we'll do um, is I guess we can make this an additional, well, we can make this a door. Yeah, this could be another entrance to our pharmacy so that it's not just one way in, one way out. It's multiple ways in and multiple ways out. I like that better. Metal sliding door? No, it's like an elevator, dude. Um, what is this? This is just the right one, yeah? Yeah, this is the right one. Do I need to change the color for this? <gasps> Maybe. I, I just had it. I had the... Okay, there we go. We'll keep it like that. There we go. So that they know this is a pharmacy. They come through here. Yada, yada, yada. Pharmacy, pharmacy, pharmacy. Okay, now let's make sure that we finish out this pathing and we make sure that we finish off the zoning as well there we go good job okay now let's make sure that these water jugs over here we'll keep the fruits we'll keep the trash bins and then i also want to make this kind of like believable so i want more of this rather more cabinets uh more shelving uh like this this is this goes back here um, and then we go like another one, but this one goes actually in the front and it goes over here. So like right there, like make aisles kind of thing. Cause that, that's what I saw in this. And that's what I kind of liked about it is like they were making aisles, right? So we'll do that. And then we'll get another, this, you know, and we'll kind of like double down and then we'll go like this and that will be that cool. Okay. And you know what? We'll go one down with this, get a advice counter also, add that there. Let's see what we're looking at. And then this, we'll just put, actually we'll get, the, we'll, we'll get rid of that one. So technically, we can even add another pharmacist. Like I said, this is like the mega center almost, right? The mega center, the, 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 the biggest pharmacy that we, that we've ever had kind of the idea that we're going with here, just so that nobody can ever complain about my pharmacy being too damn small anymore. Right? Whoops. There you go. Okay. Um, yeah, I like that. So we have double entrance, double entrance, double exits. Dig it. Now, of course, they're going to have to need to, like, come downstairs to, to access this, which, you know, whatever. That's fine. Even here, we can add, like, more doctor's offices and, and things like that. Uh, right. Cool. Uh, let's go ahead and start hiring some more. So, let's go into here, and let's hire a daytime. And I want the best of the best for the most part. The best of the best for the pharmacists. This looks terrible. This absolutely looks terrible. Uh... I like him because he has, like, no... He has terrible pharmacy skills. I will be the first to say it. But he has, like, no bad perks. I don't want a long commute daytime person. I don't. So, I refuse to get a long daytime, uh, you know, that. Everybody else is freaking just, like... Are you kidding me? Okay, this is good. I like pleasant and I like people person. Yes. Get hired. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll just hire a daytime and a nighttime... We have three more options, which basically means we have six more available pharmacists that we can hire. But for right now, we'll leave it how it is. And if anybody complains about, oh, you know, um, it, it's it's too long of a wait, then um, then we'll hire more, right? Then we'll hire more people and we'll see where we're at. I'm going to go ahead and fix that wallpaper too while we're at it. Yeah, so that's what we'll do. So that, that's kind of like the start, right? That's the start of our mega our mega pharmacies pharmacy Ph not pharmacist but pharmacy yeah i like it okay continue continue with the daytime all right still ultimate goal here oh god uh still ultimate goal here if we take a look at uh insurance please yeah insurance companies let me just take a look real quick we do get three hundred thousand dollars if we get this fellow doctor which that would pay off all of our debt all of it completely um, 
having nine fully working departments still would be a nice thing to do a nice thing to have traumatology is still another thing that we haven't even dipped into yet but i'm, I'm a little scared I'll, i will be the first to say i'm a little scared neurology we could definitely think about doing uh, eventually soon if that makes sense uh we still haven't even done like wait a sec hospitalization on internal department is not functioning or is missing whoa 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 time out what the hell did you just say hospitalization on internal medicine department is not functional or missing make it quick wait a sec did i did we not hang on whoa did we not do that this is internal medicine did we not finish it we might not have finished it yet okay william hold that thought actually hang on let's talk to william real quick diabetes right that was the next thing that we wanted to do internal medicine hey you hold on tight sir what are we actually missing for from internal medicine hospitalization? We're missing doctors. We're missing nurses. Uh, we're missing an on-call room, and we're missing a nurse station. So hospital, and we're missing an HDU. So we're not fully there with the internal medicine uh, hospitalization quite yet. We're not there yet. I I I I, I now remember, but that's okay. Uh, patients being transported to another hospital. That's fine. Once we get this up and running, I think then money will probably be eventually better and better and we'll, we'll get better and better and better. I mean, right now money is fine. Really, money is pretty damn okay. Um, patients collapsing. Somebody help Lisa, please. So what I'm going to do with this 25 grand is I'm actually going to dip into this now. I'm going to go with HDUs. I'm going to go into the HDU, please. Uh, prefabs. And I kind of like what we have going on here. We have like this line here, right? Regular wards and, and then HDUs. Now, when it comes to internal medicine, I do not know what one's going to be more or less. Uh, you know, if we're going to have regular just uh, people coming in or if we're going to have high dependency uh, people coming in for uh, internal medicine. So what I'm going to do is I'm kind of I'm kind of going to treat it uh, very. Um, I'm going to treat it very uh, similar. I guess is the way uh, kind of even like, oh, yeah, there's as much regular as there is, you know, HDUs or, or whatever. Right. There we go. Maybe we'll see. I mean, obviously, it takes a little bit more of this. Right. You know what? Let's actually do four. We'll do four HDUs to start out with. And the reason why I'm going to do four is because that's what we started out with. The general surgery department is just four. And that hasn't really like gone like too haywire yes we're, we're gonna need more for the general surgery department but it's not like it's it's a good start right it's a good good start let's go to fix this and then we're gonna need to add foundation over here eventually anyway so might as well fix that up too there you go there you go and this is like all under construction obviously this is something that we want to focus on um as we go forward I've kind of been sidetracked a little bit with this whole pharmacy dealio, but hey, it's all right. Uh, Lisa Gonzalez. Lisa Gonzalez, my lord, I would like for you. Where do you stay at, Lisa? Where are you? Oh, you're in there. Are you our anesthesiologist? You might be all right. I'm not going to touch you. <laughs> but good that you leveled up regardless. I'm not going to touch you, though. Uh, they just left this man on the operating table. Somebody help him, please. Grab a stretcher, please. Thank you. There you go. All right. Very good. All right, so this is, you know, expanded out pharmacy. I think this is better than just having this massive, like, take up all this space kind of pharmacy. I think slowly creeping it out, uh, making more. Oh, we ain't even got more money. Very good. Um, let's see here. What do we need now? We need an on-call room. I don't think these cost too much money. Sorry, I'm clicking the wrong tab here. On-call room. Uh, a 10 by 6 or an 8 by 6, 4,500. That would work right there. It would fit like a freaking glove. The only problem is, is that uh, would there be any room for expansion later on, right? Um, don't know. Don't really know. Don't think so, actually. So that's the on-call room. And now we have the nurse's station, 5,600 or 7,000. Um, where are we standing at if we went with a bigger one? So we'll go eight by six. Right? I think. Yeah, we'll go eight by six. 
Uh, and the reason why we'll go eight by six here is there's this tiny, tiny, tiny little sliver here, right? I don't know if you can see that very tiny little like walkway here, very tiny. And that right there is going to be uh, something we might use for the future. Hopefully patients won't have to use it. Um, but yeah, um, and the reason why is because there's this corner we're backing up to that actually is connected to the radiology up here. There's these like open spaces here. And I, I, I do like trying to use as much space as I can. So what this little corridor gives us is it gives us access to over here, which then over here to give us um, bigger doctor rooms, bigger nurses rooms or whatever it might be. Right. That's what that could bring us uh, to help out internal medicine in case things were to get a little bit chaotic. Uh, yeah, let's go. Got to earn a little bit more money. We got to get more money in. That just is what it is. This 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 uh, department is almost technical, technically uh, ready to go, but uh, there's still a lot of improvements that need to be happened. Uh, do we have a bathroom up here? Like we have this bathroom, but we don't have like a like a bathroom facing that way. So bathroom is a situation. Uh, break room. We do have a visitation room. We don't necessarily have a break room facing this department. I would like to have a, a, a department that, or I like to have a um, break room facing this way. Um, janitor's closet. I need a janitor to be up here in internal medicine as well. I need to get my corridors kind of like uh, figured out also. So let's make sure we do that. So up here. Yep. Up here. We have this coming down here. That will be that. And this going through here. And then, uh, excuse me, what? The F? Oh, the foundation. And then this coming out through here. And then this coming through here. And then this going out this way. And again, I'll fix the foundation. Don't worry about it. Right there. And all the way down here. And then obviously right here as well. Plus, there's just like this little bit of a thing right here, like this little bit of a lip right here that we can use also. And we'll go through here all the way down, please. That's good for now. I'm going to build the foundation out or foundation that we need. And this is simply going to kind of wrap around and connect to this now. Yep, there we go. Perfect. And over here, is everything connected? Almost. There we go. It's coming along. It's coming along. Still, again, needs uh, more things filled in. But, um, oh, wait, there's a bathroom right there. Okay, bathroom right there. Oh, is this a break room? Oh, and there is a break room. Okay, so we do have those things. All right, so I was already playing hand. I just, I was blind. Okay, very good. Very good. Never mind. We got it. We're good. Well, you know what? Then we're, we're almost, we're actually closer to being done with this than I thought. Okay. Right. All right. All right. Let's get that wall done. Let's get these walls done too and then we're gonna need obviously get flooring in uh, put a cap on that down there so that no one flies off the side of the building same over here so that nobody flies off the side of the building and then um uh what i'll do is i'll just open this up for now i'll open up that little bit of a corridor and then we'll put some uh this down perfect and then what I'll do is I'll probably just expand out uh, the um, the the corridor for internal medicine that way too. There we go. Let's get, you know, this is a little bit costly, but you know, things that need to be done need to be done. You know, probably should put a cap on this over here too. There we go. Okay. 480. Okay, we don't have enough. Continue. Bring us that little bit of money back, please. There we go. A little bit of money back. We're going to be spending. We're going to be a lot in the hole today. So the, we're going to be a lot in the hole today just because, you know, obviously there's like there's a lot of expenditure on our side. Like we're spending a lot of money today on a lot of upgrades and future projects. Again, let's just put a cap real quick on this. Put a nice wall just to cap that off. And then think about what to do for a janitor and where I would place a janitor's office. We have a cleaning closet, but I think that cleaning closet is downstairs and I want to have one upstairs. 
yeah. That. Cool. Uh, yeah, so I want a little clean closet upstairs, not just one downstairs. I'll also, another thing that we need to have is a uh, another gift shop. Because uh, we were yelled at in one of the episodes about not having um, a, a big enough gift shop. Or, you know, enough gifts for gift shop. Right? Uh, our line was too big for gift shop. Let's see. Where can I, like, fit in a, a janitor's closet that's not too intrusive? Well, I mean, I can make it a hallway like I have done previously. And that's probably what I'm going to end up doing. So, let's go cleaning closet. And we'll go here and we'll make it I guess like that maybe I might make it a little bit wider than that we'll have to see here in a sec uh, it, it technically works go through there through there and then you know what actually cool thing we'll just add a um, a door on each side there yeah I kind of like that a door on each side so you can go out that side or you can go out that side and then we'll have uh, a shelf multiple shelves Multiple buckets so that we can have, uh, you know, multiple two people working at the same time. There we go. That's not too bad. Just put a regular tile in there. There. All right. So now we have a cleaning closet for the for the internal medicine. I like it. I I, I do. I do. I do. I do. I bit of do. Um, yeah. So the next thing that we really need to do is just hire doctors and hire nurses, and then internal medicine hospitalization is here to stay. Yeah. Definitely here to stay. Did we get on it? And it's almost... We should do it before midnight, too. Now, okay, hang on a sec. Did you see that? Internal medicine doesn't take that many doctors, and it doesn't take that many nurses, and that's probably something I've also already talked about before. So having the expanded doctors and nurses over here might not even be necessary, because we just... You don't need that, I guess, for this uh, hospitalization. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and look into this. So internal medicine... Um, I would like to have a little bit more money to work with. Hang on a sec. I want more money to work with so that in case I need to like refresh or do this or do that, I can refresh and get hidden perks and all that and see what we're at. Because I do want to hire some very good doctors here. And maybe uh, if I... I guess I could wait till midnight. Yeah. You know, I'll just wait till midnight because I can hire them either way. Seven critical workloads. What the hell are you talking about? Good God almighty. Yeah, so I'll just wait until um, midnight. And midnight will give us the opportunity to hire our new uh, internal doctors and nurses. And we'll have internal medicine up and running before you know it. Now, we have two people that couldn't be treated today. But over almost 120... There we go. 120... Wow. 122 patients treated today. Uh, 125 patients treated today. Even we were though we were expecting 107. So that means our autom autom automation automation of, of doctors are running very smoothly and they are like somewhat highly skilled and trained and fast to do their job. So that things are going quickly down there, at least. That's what that tells me. 126 now. I'm, I'm not too upset and our money's coming through. Yeah, so I'm not too, too upset. We'll wait until midnight. Just give it a sec. And then midnight, you can see we're, we're not going to have a profit at midnight because we spent a ton of money. A ton, a ton of money. Yeah. Too much money, to be exact. Maybe. I don't know. Let's see here. Let's see how much money we spent. Yeah. <laughs> we spent $67,000, uh, which means our profit yesterday was negative $24,000. Uh, however, once we go into the morning time to the daytime shift, we will be seeing how, um, how, how our pharmacy does. Will it finally work after all, right? That's the whole idea. Okay, so now let's go into this. So, daytime doctor. I don't have money to do any of the, uh, uh, find new candidates or find the hidden perks, so we really have to go with just what we have here. Um, so with that being said, again, I, I will have to go with the best of the best that I can get. And that's 87 internal medicine, Judy King. I don't know what her other two things are. Hopefully they're good. I don't know. Get hired. Uh, and then a nighttime doctor. Who is going to possibly be Richard Walker. Now I might switch to them now that he's an early bird. Yeah. So I'm going to have Richard. And then I'll switch them if I can. Uh. Uh, Richard, 
and then uh, Judy. There we go. And that's technically all we need to do for a daytime and nighttime. Uh, but I will probably have more doctors as we go forward here. Uh, you know what? That's going to be a lot of patience. It will, will, I'll keep my eye on it. I'll keep my eye on internal medicine. All right, now let's go into this. So daytime, early bird, long commute. I Again, I hate the long commute thing. I really do. I do like the early bird. I hate the slow trait, though. Long commute, hard worker. Jessica, you're the best of the best so far. Um, nighttime. Daniel Clark, you seem really good at your job, but I don't know what your other hidden perks are. We'll hire you. And then I'll do a daytime kind of like specialist for a very cheap if I can find one. 30 feet, don't like that. Uh, patient care, very cheap transportation only. Daytime, very cheap night owl transportation as well. So you will not be taking care of any patients, but you will be transferring patients only. Uh, you know what? You'll do both, I think. Yeah, you'll do both because your patient care is pretty good. Yeah. Okay. That's what we'll do. And now internal medicine is here to stay. Yeah. Now we have internal medicine. It's freaking great. Is absolutely great. But that's going to do it today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys did, please make sure to hit that like button. If you would like to see more Project Hospital, um, I've been your host. It's been a pleasure. Internal medicine is finally here. Maybe the next step we do is neurology and possibly traumatology. I'm kind of staying away from infectious disease diseases, but, you know, that is what it is. And maybe even pathology. Anyways, thank you guys so much, and I will see you guys very, very soon in the next video, wherever that may be. And do as always. Take care.